These next questions are from chapter six. This one's talking about a standard normal distribution. Remember that that means that the mean is zero and the standard deviation is one. I'm trying to find the probability that z is less than negative 2.7. I'm going to sketch my normal distribution, just put the mean in the middle. And I'm going to put the negative 2.7 down here. And since this is pointing to the left, that means I'm interested in this area to the left. On my calculator, I'm going to use normal CDF. For my lower bound, since this keeps going down this way, I'm going to use a big negative number like negative 10,000. For my upper bound, it's going to be the negative 2.7. Then my mean is 0 and my standard deviation is 1. So I get 0 0.0035. Then in this one, it's asking for a value of z and it's giving me an area. So this is the other kind of problem, which means I'm going to use my inverse norm function. So here's my picture. I want to find the z so that the area to the right of it, oops, going this way, is 0.37. So from this number to the right, this area I want to be 0.37. Now the inverse norm on the calculator assumes that you're going from the number to the left. So I need to find the area in this part over here so that I know what to put in my calculator. These two pieces have to add up to one. So this area over here is one minus 0.37, which is 0.63. On my calculator, I'm gonna do inverse norm. I'm putting in my area to the left, which is 0.63, and since we're still talking about z. This is a 0 and a 1. That gives me an answer of 0.33. My value of z is 0.33. Here's another one with a normal distribution. This one, it tells you the mean and the standard deviation, so this is not a standard normal distribution. When you use your calculator functions, you're going to have to put these two values in for the mean and the standard deviation. So first it asks what percentage are taller than 22 feet. So here's my picture. My mean is 16 right there. Taller than 22 means greater than 22. So I'm going to put my 22 over here. And that means I'm shading to the right. So I'm going to use my normal CDF. I'm going to put in 22 for my lower bound a big positive number for my upper bound, and then the 16 for the mean, and the 3.4 for the standard deviation. So what I get is 0 0.0388. Since it asked for a percentage in this one, I'm gonna change this to a percentage, which would be 3.88%. So this much percent of the pine trees in the park are taller than 22 feet. Then it wants the probability that a pine tree is between 10 and 15 feet tall. So here's my picture again. And the 10 and the 15 are both on this side of the mean, so I'm going to put those over here. I want it to be between those two, so I'm just going to shade in between those two numbers. Since I'm trying to find the probability, that means I'm using normal CDF. I have my lower and my upper bound already. And then I just have to put in my mean and standard deviation. I get 0.3455. That's my probability. We're trying to find the cutoff height for the tallest 10% of the trees. So this time they're giving us a percentage, which is the same as a probability or an area. And they're asking us to find a height. And especially if it says something about the cutoff, that means that you're going to use inverse norm. If I want the tallest 10%, that means they're going to be over here. I want to know what this height would have to be so that this area over here is 10% or 0 0.10.
Now, if I'm using inverse norm, it automatically goes from the number to the left. So I'm going to have to find the area for this part over here. So I'm going to take 1 minus 0.10, which is going to give me 0.9. So I'm going to use 0.9 for my area in the inverse norm function. So that gives me 20.4. That means my cutoff value right here is 20.4 feet. This time we have a random sample of 40 pine trees that are selected. And it's asking about the probability not just for one tree, but for the sample mean height to be less than 14.3 feet. We have to think about the distribution for the sample means. So the mean is the same. So our mean is going to be the 16. But the standard deviation for this, we take our original standard deviation and divide it by the square root of the sample size. So that's going to be our original standard deviation of 3.4 divided by the square root of 40. So we're going to use this for our standard deviation instead of just the 3.4. We still have our picture, and our picture still has 16 in the middle. We want the probability that the mean height is less than 14.3 feet. So I'm going to put 14.3 over here. Less than that would mean going to the left. For my normal CDF function, I'm going to put in a large negative number for my lower bound, 14.3 for my upper bound, 16 for my mean, and then I'm going to calculate this to figure out what to put in for my standard deviation. So this is 0.54. It gives me this number, and the little e with the negative 4 at the end means it's in, in scientific notation. So this is actually 8.2 times 10 to the negative fourth is what it's giving me on the calculator. Which to write this in standard notation, I'd move my decimal point four places to the left. So that's 0.00082. So that's a very small probability.